bounce it off of your mother. <laughs> We're live. Yep. We're live. So, as y'all filter on here, we will we'll wait for everybody to get on. We always like to go 10 minutes early, that way. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit better. No, it's better with less lights. I yeah, because it was she like yes. uh, oh. Okay. Anybody on? Jonathan, what's up? Lone Star Living is on. Oh, I gotta clean my seat here. I'm not sitting in. Just let us know. Just let us know how the audio and the video is. Make sure that um, let's just make sure. Make check all the rest of Mark the, Edwards. Hey, Mark Edwards. How's France? We're doing good. Rufus is making dinner. So I can hear y'all and see y'all. Sweet. Audio sound good. Up. We're having some Thrive Life for dinner. Um. Some lag issues. Okay. I think there's still a device. You got all the Kindles turned off? Oh, um, uh, and Mama's mom. phone. Yes, yeah. That's probably running. Yeah. Yeah, she has it. She's coming out. Is that blue device turned off? Savannah Dabrowski. Who is that? <laughs> Wow. Hello, Savannah. Hello, Billy Montgomery. South in CS. Oh, okay. CA. I was going to say. Thought you were in California. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good, good. All right. Um, so, they're doing some. Your phone's off. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, we'll be giving you a Hannah update as well. Um, oh, you turned it all off. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so I think I eliminated our streaming issues. Texas mom had her fun, phone ready. And I can... I'll move the mic a little bit so that it's not... There we go. I don't have any more updates since last week. Oh, there's not an update. Well, it's an update to them. Yeah. Keeping it Dutch. Keeping it Dutch. What's up, Dutch? No. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, I guess real quick here at the beginning, we'll get y'all a uh, Hannah update here real quick. Um, Billy was in the hospital. Yeah, Are you okay, that. Billy? Mm. Um, just a quick Hannah update. Hannah is in ICU because um, I don't think we mentioned it last week, but. Um, they, she did 21 rounds of chemo, and they had shut down her immune system completely. And due to this, like, just rant, um, regular, normal virus that she had, um, they had to awaken her immune system early. So she's in ICU. That was the last we heard, and that was probably like five days ago. So that's our update. Please be praying for her and her family. Um, it did seem pretty touch and go. So please pray for them. Pray for her. For those of you who don't know, Hannah is a 13-year-old um, little girl. Uh, her and her family homestead out this way. And um, she has leukemia. So be praying for them. They're in Dallas Children's. And really appreciate Bless Farm. He's put out a couple, uh, Kent at Bless Farm, he's put out a couple of videos trying to encourage her. So appreciate Kent and Sherry at Bless Farm. They have a GoFundMe. For that, um, they have a GoFundMe. I'll make sure that the link is in the description. Um, you can also reference our Heal, Heal My Hannah video for the link to the GoFundMe. 
Uh, just as an update. Um, let's see. Billy had double pneumonia. Wow. When one when one pneumonia isn't good enough. Doolu woohoo. Doolu woohoo. Woohoo. All right. Wow. Dutch says it. It's been crazy, man. A bunch of people. A bunch of people have been sick. That's just weird. I don't know, man. But you know me. I don't want to get started. But that's weird. Joe Dirt. One second. Am I behind? I saw. I... No, you're not behind. Oh, okay. I thought I saw a Joe Dirt reference, but I don't see. No. Moses is loose. Is he? Yeah, he's loose. He must have broke the we chain. We must go secure Moses. He must have broke the chain. He broke the chain. He broke the chains. That's a good Let segue. my Moses go. Yeah, this is a great segue to what we're going to be talking about today. And I always appreciate it when the animals help out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That was the Joe Dirt reference. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no corn for dinner. All right. Oh, man. Uh, Joe Derte. <laughs> oh, my youth. Um, okay. Actually, I wasn't that young. Uh, uh, let's see here. Um, okay, so we're going to be getting started in three minutes. Um, Goober and Buddy went to secure Moses, and probably this, secure him in his pen. Yeah, this is that means that that he will be put back in his pen because he's <laughs> naughty, because goats are naughty, and so that is why we're getting a cow. We're getting a milk cow. We are going to get a family cow. The Texas boys are upgrading. California girls, hello. The Texas boys are going to upgrade the goat herd to a dairy cow. And don't worry, we're not keeping the goats. And don't worry, we're not keeping the goats. No, we are selling the goats. I am in... Hunter! Hunter needs some goats. Wow. Hunter needs some goats. That's a good point. Texas mom. Hunter does need some goats. And since Hunter works real late and makes lots of money, he's got plenty of money for goats. That guy is devoted. That guy is a hard working dude there. Hunter Kidwell. Really? Um, Tom Baker gets a coffee, get a drink, sit down. You have him fastened? He didn't break the chain. He oh, he did? somehow got off. Uh, oh, he unclipped it. Uh -huh. They're so smart yet so dumb at the same time. Same time. No, no money. money. Yeah, Hunter. Go sell your nonsense somewhere else. I don't believe it for what a minute. It? Hunter's loaded. We were telling Hunter that he has a lot of money and he could buy goats. <laughs> so, okay. So, we made a decision this week uh, to buy a dairy cow. We've been doing uh, a lot of research. And we actually drove about an hour west when was that? That was this week. We have some footage. Um, we went and looked at one dairy cow. And the, um, yeah, harder to milk than a goat. That's right. Well, it depends. Depends on how you look at it. But uh, <laughs> definitely has, definitely will have more milk. Yeah, Jersey So what cow. kind of uh, cow? A Jersey, probably a Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, we've been mostly looking at Jerseys. And... Um, so this, this kind of brought about this whole discussion and Texas mom, uh, the people that we went to look at the cow, that cow, okay, this brings up another really interesting topic. How many? One. One cow. A joysy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, um, the cow that we went and looked at her teats were too small to milk by hand. And that's because a lot of these commercial milk cows, they're breeding them 
with shorter teats so that they're good for the machine, so that they can just mechanize, mechanize milk them. It's great for the machine. We much. are two and a half hours east of Dallas Fort Worth, straight across. And um, I want chocolate milk. Hunter wants chocolate milk. So we're gonna get you getting a brown cow for Hunter, so we can get chocolate milk. Yep. Um, Man, oh, a chocolate milk chow. That'll. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't. Um, a Jersey cow from the Channel Islands in the UK. Very high cream content. Is that Mark? That's Mark Edwards. He's so smart. Every time, Mark with the valuable information. Yeah. Always giving us the valuable information. Mark, let us know if you got any connections where we can um, maybe put put a uh, one of those in a crate or something. Yeah, remember when we were talking about shipping the goats? Yeah, we could do a swip swap. Yeah. So, yeah, so we've been talking about this. So we met with this um, uh, dairy cow uh, set up and got hooked up with some people there. And one of the ladies there, the cow broker, she recommended a book. That book's title is... Keeping a Family Cow. Keeping a Family Cow. So and there's also a Facebook group. There's also a Facebook group called Keeping a Family Cow and we just joined that Facebook group. But this whole cow and all the surrounding economics of it is rather interesting. And that's why we want to discuss it and it's five o'clock so we're gonna get started. Can I have a um, chocolate milk cow? Uh, tell them what we're going to be doing tonight. Well, no, we're, we're, we're not. not tonight. We, okay, we can't. Start. Yeah, we'll give you some updates. we got some cool stuff going on. Yeah, we're going to be cow shopping. We're going to be cow shopping. Uh, tomorrow, we are visiting our friends with the Berm Home, and they are moved in, and it looks super awesome. And this time, we'll have our camera set up, and... We'll also do a ranch tour, and they have like a ton of uh, heritage breed, all kinds of stuff, and they're like, or they got a killer setup, organic and everything. Very Joel Salton. Yeah, very Joel Salton, rotational grazing. Um, you're gonna really like it. It's probably gonna be more than one video. Great people with tons of knowledge and experience, just making it happen. Uh, I would also like to. If, if they let us get a little bit of an interview so you could kind of hear their story and how they did it and they just straight up did it they 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 bought a camper they bought that property bought a camper and they moved there lived in a camper he even um retrofitted a wood burning stove inside the uh, fifth wheel and they lived there and they made it happen and now they're both of them are completely sustained by their homestead and they sell their wares there with their different heritage breeds and they're just they're inspirational awesome people and we love hanging out with them and learning from them and i think you're really going to enjoy it <laughs> so let's see so the original name of that book was <laughs> the cow economy Yes, the original name of that book is The Cow Economy, and that's why we wanted to talk about the real stock market. Um, I have a financial background, and um, in addition to the licensing that I was required to get, Jason Anderson. Hello, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> and um, here, I'll, I'll turn it this way. You guys can... I think that'll keep them on up there for you guys. I think, I don't know, we'll see. Um, oh yeah. So, uh, wow, I am like distractible. Oh, so in addition to the um, licenses, I also uh, took an options class. It was a really cool class, options at sea, on this guy's sailboat, and uh, Peoria dude. Oh, Terrence the T-Rex. <laughs> Terrence the T-Rex. What's up? 
So I took an options class on this guy's sailboat. He 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 bought the sailboat from one options trade he did. This guy was really smart. And so when I learned options, you know, basically options contracts and very, very few few people even know what options are because they're very kind of complicated. They are totally synthetic, but options started as uh, in the commodities market strictly with farming, corn, soybean, oil, major commodities, and that's how the options market started. And um, and basically it was trading paper on future contracts. So for example, um, well, and this is the way it used to be. So you're a corn farmer and you wanted to raise money to buy seed for next year. So you said, um, so you would, uh, so an investor would sign it. Well, it depends on if it's a put or sell. I won't get into the, the complicated part of it, but basically to boil it down, to make it simple, basically an investor would say, um, I'll buy a bill of corn for X amount of dollars when you harvest it. And this is prior to it being planted. And so the, the bank would then give the farmer that money to buy the seed, to plant the seed. And then the farmer was promising uh, that, that corn or whatever that produce was or whatever that commodity was at that price per bushel but 99.9% .9 of all options um, are never exercised because part of it's because it's all a synthetic paper game now. But that's how commodities started. And actually, that's how the stock market started. And that's why it's called the stock market, because originally the stock market was livestock and it was livestock trading. And that's where the name came from. And that's when the stock market had real stuff. So, um, let's see. Chili Expat Family, hello. Hello, Jim. So, that's how the stock, mar stock market started. And really, when you think about this, everything in our culture, everything in our society, um, it's all premised and based on an, an agrarian, culture, an agrarian community, uh, the bread bell. Um, that's how this country was started. You know, think Little House on the Prairie, Laurel Ingalls Wilder. And when you look back at this, and that's why this book is so neat. I highly recommend this book. Um, it talks about the economy of the family cow, uh, the derivatives of the family cow, what it would provide you, and how much it produced you know um a, a dairy cow produces you know depending on your cow and your milk lines it'll produce between three and six gallons per day and even a family uh, yeah an average jersey cow produces about four gallons okay average yeah so an average jersey produces four gallons a day so if you're a family of seven i mean we couldn't realistically use more than a gallon a day but i could drink a lot Obviously, the Texas boys would drink more. Yeah, we don't. Use, we don't. But eat. now we have an excess, right? So what can we do? We can sell the raw organic milk. Um, we can obviously make butter, yogurt, kefir, cheese, cheese. So we have all these byproducts, all these positive byproducts. Whey. With, with the kefir and the yogurt, you're getting your probiotics. Um, with the excess or any that goes bad or sours, you can feed it to your livestock, you can feed it to your dogs, to your cats, to your chickens. So this cow in and of itself is its own micro economy. Yeah. And that is where the term cash cow came from. Because, you know, in business, when you're talking about something with high cash outflows, and high profit margin, it's called a cash ice cream. cow. And uh, ice cream, yeah, that's another great byproduct of a, of a cow is ice cream. Probably the most East Texas homestead elite byproduct. 
Hey, Eric, how you doing, man? Thanks for jumping on. Did you, are you home from work yet? Uh, well, goats are a good idea, but they will drive you insane. No, it's just we're doing rotational grazing. We're doing rotational grazing, and, the, and goats are just ornery. Goats are really good for what goats are good yes. for. They do an excellent job. Our girls are really good. Yes. Our buck's ornery. He's sweet, but he's just, he's, he's a boy. And that's testosterone or whatever it is, and it's terrible. Goats are the gateway to the dairy world. Yeah, yeah, goats are the gateway drug to the dairy world. You know how chickens, like, chicken is the gateway animal to the homesteading? Well, goats are the gateway animal to the whole dairy world. Yeah. But once the dairy world opens up, it is like, I don't know, it's amazing, it's fascinating. And we just decided if you're going to do it, we're just going to do it all the way. So that's what we're doing. And uh, we're pretty excited about it, pumped about it. You know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, oh, Peary dude's talking about the tulips. Yeah, that, and that actually, tulip futures is what crashed the Dutch economy. Supposedly, you know, the interesting thing about derivatives and markets is by by creating derivatives in markets what's that exponential trading right of something that's not really there so it's synthetic but what that does is when you're doing four or five times unreal volume when you multiply that factor it makes the crash bigger that's why they do it it's so they can manipulate it so they can pump it and dump it and that's really the whole purpose that's not the original intent of uh, commodities or options but that's the that's what they've done to it and they've made it purely synthetic now we have synthetic derivatives and it's just so they can pump and dump the market and the rich get richer and the po get power and um, and uh, just a uh, on a side note the um, Republicans people don't like talking politics so, but I just want to just want to make a statement of fact here you know, the Republicans and our Republican president um, couldn't repeal Obamacare and everybody wants it gone and they can't do it and it's totally fake. They're all fake. They're all in it together. The um, governor of West Virginia just came out and he told everybody that he's not no longer Democrat and he's going to be a Republican. And so I think our president said something about it. Woohoo, that's great. And I'm like, there's no difference and nothing's going to change. And they're both the same anything anyway. So they need to just come out with the demo relican party and get it over with and just be one big bunch of jokers all in bed together. They're just all terrible. But And you know what? Our president could fix it. I'll give you two solutions. One, do your non-constitutional executive order right. And you, just, you don't even have to, he could repeal it with an executive order as disgusting and unconstitutional as that is. Didn't like it when Bush did it, didn't like it when Obama did it, but he could do that. Or just sign an executive order. All of our Congress has Obamacare and see how fast they get rid of it. Old Johnny McCain, see how fast he, tumor boy, see how fast he gets rid of it. Yeah, but they're all fake. It's a joke. So that's why we're buying a cow, okay? Just want to reinforce the fact that you got to take care of yourself. Buy your own cow. Hey, the more the more all this crazy stuff comes out about Whole Foods, you cannot trust labeling. You can't trust the label. I don't say I don't care if it says it's organic. I don't care what it says on it. You now you can trust if it says use uh, made with genetic engineering. <laughs> Great. You know, another part of the whole international government charade thing, you know, we have Putin, right? This bad guy or whatever, whoever he is. And he just came out, Putin just came out and said that Russia is going to be the largest manufacturer of organic product products. Russia, you know, and I was talking to some guys at work and you know saying what a joke the government is and the democrats and the republicans he was like oh you know we could always move to russia and i said well stay here long enough and it'll be russia except 
we won't have good food like right <laughs> so it'll be totally communist but we'll still be pumping out the gmo and the trash but yeah you can't trust the labels um yes yeah and i mean food was commodities that's the whole point i mean that was and it, it's so interesting how everything's going full circle and retro you know you have the the big house people that are moving into the tiny shed houses and all this stuff and people want land and they're going back to the land and all this stuff and uh now you know and really once again government intervention what destroyed our agrarian culture Government subsidy. Government subsidy destroyed the profitability. Dulu says, hey, buddy. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> um, the government destroyed the ability for the average little guy to make any money by big agra, by subsidies, by getting in bed with Monsanto, crony capitalism. They destroyed our... Well, Miss Butterfly, you look so beautiful, Miss Butterfly. Jason Anders said U.S.S. Wait, what? He said U.S.C.A. or U.C.S.A. <laughs> United Communist States of America. <laughs> so what do we have to do? We have to take control of our food. So now we have to take control of our food, okay? And what we can do with a dairy cow is we can have all these, okay, or real organic milk that we buy locally is six dollars a gallon grass-fed, um, non-pasteurized. Some people, like North or South Carolina, it's $12 a gallon. So our cow... It's 10 in Indiana. It's 10 in Indiana. And it's $10 in Indiana. So here in Texas, our cow should produce about $6,000 worth of organic milk a year. So that's obviously, one, it's an expense. We spend between thirty and forty dollars a week in in organic milk, um, and, and, and that's rationing. Right, and that's rationing it. That's not just letting the Texas boys go hog wild because they would, we would use a gallon a day easily. Oh my, yeah, I, I could drink two quarts of cow milk. Buy double that. Yeah. 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 Rufus is off. LOL. So, uh, <laughs> Rufus is always off. Um, so that, you know, the, the, I really encourage you to get the book. It's, uh, we're not keeping, getting paid to say it. Keeping a family cow. We got keeping a family cow. We got the Kindle version, so we got it instantly. I used to drink a gallon of milk a day. My yes. parents very mad. My parents yes, I used to drink. Oh, pretty cool. Oh, can everybody uh, sit Pollock. Pollock is here. Pollock's back. Yo, Pollock. Back in high school. Uh, Miss a butterfly looking so beautiful. Oh, looking so beautiful, baby girl. What are you doing with your tongue? <laughs> so, yeah, the, the whole dynamic of this cash cow concept and having a family cow, basically, Hello. you know, your family culture and your family economy revolved around the family cow that was the hub of your personal commerce as a family mm -hmm. and uh and that's what our attempt is we want to return to that return to what works return to our roots go back where 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 the um go back to where the wheels fell off and <laughs> we'll start there and uh pre-government intervention you know, colonial America, frontiers, um, self self reliance. You know. She's going to be. So she's going to go help feed our animals, and she's going to produce. Hunter meat. said no goats. Uh, Hunter's Texas mom, I don't know if they're going to be able to hear no. you, and you have to come over here and speak up, Texas mom. Sorry, I'm trying to make dinner. Trying, trying to make dinner. dinner. I was just saying that in the book it was saying that um, that every year or year and a half she's going to produce either a little heifer calf um, or uh, a little boy calf that will be a steer and then you can raise him up for that next year which she would be feeding him and then obviously eating grass and even if you have to supplement with hay it's still the cost is 
not much. And then you're putting 400 pounds or so of beef in the freezer. So she's giving you that as well um, every right. year. And then they were also saying that, um, you know, with the whey, the byproducts of um, making cheese, you're going to be able to uh, raise up a pig. Um, so maybe, I don't know if that... I like pork, but I'm not... I'm, I don't need a pig. There, I can yeah. find plenty of stuff to use yeah. the milk for. But um, even just, just to supplement with the dogs and yeah, the absolutely. chickens. And the butter and the cheese and the yogurt and the kefir. I mean, we could... And, and I believe that's what the book was saying, right? 80% of your... 80% of your yes, food bacon. base basically came from some derivative I do like of bacon the of the cow. Yeah. And um yeah. and, and everybody wants to know what's for dinner, Texas mom. And she's gonna be improving life. Oh, so we got bacamel sauce. We got some Thrive Life going on, bacamel sauce with the chicken, and we got some organic Durham uh, pasta. Supposedly organic, you know, once again. Trust the label. Yeah. You gotta to trust the label. We we'll have to teach the cow how to make this. We're gonna thing. we're gonna teach the cow how to make Rocky, Rocky Brook. Brook, what's up man? Oh, do who said when are you getting the cow? We do not know. We're not we EB, EB's on. Hello, yep. Miss Eb. We're She's reading the book. Hunter said Heidi said no to read in the book. Oh. Heidi said no to get listen, yo Hunter. Swap them for the dog. And no, I do not want the dog. And that's all I'm going to say about that. The, dog. the goats won't be doing their business in your house, Hunter. Okay? <clears throat> all right? That backyard needs some weed control. All right? Yeah. Especially around that big old stump. So, uh, do lose hungry. I am too. <laughs> I am too. Bacon. Mark. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> So we're gonna be having some the, some pork the, tomorrow. We are. Oh, uh, yes. The starving boys. Oh, yes, I'm starving boys. Jason says nothing's better than stepping barefoot into a warm cow patty. I don't know what that. Cow is. patty. I've stepped Good. into one of them. Yeah. That's another byproduct. Cow byproduct. The. Yep. Uh, that's the cow's going to create for the farm is cow poop manure yeah. we're going to be getting the fences set up and we're going to do rotational grazing with her too yeah, you can talk to him about it you know what you're doing. Pollock, chipotle i do too yeah you boys talk about what we've been talking about yeah so fill them fill them yeah. in guys yeah. what the so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing rotational grazing with the cow and um art in homesteading have been doing um something like that and um art in homesteading is a really good channel you have to go check them out um they're basically start they are living in like a 1800s house yeah. mm -hmm. and it's really cool yeah art and homesteading they got a really cool channel yeah and uh, what they do is they make a paddock basically for them with electric rope fencing that we already have. And um, he has white stakes and he does a 200, 200 um, a long paddock by 16 foot wide. And um, I added it all up how big the square foot and everything it was, but um, and you have these little lines where the cow's going to graze them for a week and it's going to be able to give, um, when you're grazing with the cow, we don't want to, um, I've been hearing that if you just stick cows out, um, or one cow out on a pasture and let it live there for a long time. It will chew, it'll eat all the grass down, and it'll find its favorite spots and not so favorite weeds. And um, so it'll always be going back and forth. And so um, that's why you always want the rotational graze. Um, our in homesteading even said that one time they even had it, um, what? <laughs> there, Dulu was talking about her, her brother getting attacked by an alpaca and spit on and then what? 
period dude said, can you milk an alpaca? Maybe, probably. And Jason Anderson said, <laughs> if you didn't get said, spit on. When the patty you dries, can milk you can a use chihuahua. it as a frisbee. Aww. You can milk a chihuahua. Terrible. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're going to do that. Texas mom just ordered some white posts off Amazon. We got them used. Used? Used. On so Do on what? Amazon. So what? I don't know how when they'll be here. They'll be here like August 11th or something. And um, so then we're going to do a video on setting that all up. We'll definitely be doing a video if we're going to go look at any more cows. Um, we did look at the mini jersey, but um, they're saying that it could be... It could the Jersey cow that you could get could make one gallon a day, or uh, or three. So it's all it's it's a too much of yeah. a too much of a gamble. Yeah. Yeah. So that's gamble. Our size yeah, yeah. For us, we definitely need a. Pr- I mean, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Yeah, Let's. Aggie, our goat, can make basically basically two gallons a day when she's uh, in milk. In milk. And she's a sonin. I think Rufus will drink all of the milk. <laughs> Guy going to be a linebacker or something. <laughs> no, that's Goob. He's going to be the linebacker. <laughs> Kid's got Nephilim in his jeans. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we got two pastures right now. Probably we're going to have... Uh, probably we're not going to use over there because when you go crazy in, uh, in the fall... In the fall time, when your trees probably will plant around over there, where Maybe. there's stumps. Yeah, are. I gotta and then we decide. Can... Yeah. We're planning a large expansion of the fruit tree more? action. Was it more than the time that we bought all this? Yes. Them? Whoa. Okay. He has big plans. Big plans. Big plans. Yeah. So, um, I think we definitely have two fields. Um. Um. Uh, we have two fields. We have the side field that needs to be um, definitely eaten and fertilized really good. And then we got a back field that is very, I think it used, um, we have to plant seed and everything. And this time of year is not good. Uh, they're saying plant seed. Um, in winter. In winter. Uh, just, just Martin's one? Just Martin. Oh, just Martin's been on before. Oh, really? Okay. Hi, Jess Martin. Um, so, um, when the temperature yeah, when the cha- temperature can go below, can stay below sixty at night. at night, we can plant our seed. Um, probably it's going to be around clover and some alfalfa grass, um, or a mix of that type of uh, field grass and all that type of really good high protein content grass. Um, um, right now, the grass is pretty good. It should be way better. Probably when we get some better fertilizer on there, it will boost it all up. Um, with uh, In some videos, I said bah- uh, bahay grass. Our grass is not bahay grass. I wish it was bahay grass, but it's not. It's, um, no, it is bahay grass. Right. You said it's Bermuda. Bermuda. But it was, yes, yeah. yes. We wish it was Bermuda grass. It's not. It's, it's bahay. Not what, how much? $26. Oh, yeah, so round bale, a uh, big, huge round bale. We found one on, well, a lot on clearance for 26 bucks, right? So, huh? He had, he had a hundred rolls that he was selling for 26 bucks, and that is just crazy cheap. Um, he, you know, we went to Tractor Supply last year. They stopped selling round bales because the price of their round bales were $100, $100 each. Yeah, and I was like... Crazy. Crazy. Um, I heard on when we were lo- uh, watching one family milking cow, it actually the hay bale price actually in the drought, one of the drought seasons, it got up to like two hundred dollars mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody was selling their cows. Yeah. That was. F- two thousand fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Yeah. We'll probably supplement. You can talk about that. About. Uh, probably we will supplement with alfalfa feed. Um, and that's beet just pulp. and bee pulp. It's really good for them. Beets are going to be in our fall garden, big yes. time. Beets. Hopefully. I'm doing the uh, joint juice, the veggies. Oh yeah, tell them. Yeah. So. Darcy okay. Isabella. So, 
I've been dealing with this shoulder issue for about three years. Um, apparently, it's a it was a bulging disc in my C6, C7, and so it pinched all the nerves going to my left arm. That dropped my shoulder, and then my body reacted and pulled my shoulder in too far, and then it kind of froze up and. So I've been under chiropractic, three different chiropractors. Um, I've done every conceivable type of stretch, Egascu. I did all the Egascu stuff, read the book, um, did the, all different kind of dietary changes. Um, and then last week, as I told you, we were going to the, um, going to do the intermittent fasting. And that, I, I started the intermittent fasting exclusively for um, gluc uh, insulin, the whole insulin factor and the growth hormone factor, uh, repair the pancreas, I'm hypoglycemic. So I started intermittent fasting. I've been doing that for one week. And what I do is I do a 16-8 window. It works great. So I eat from one o'clock to nine o'clock. And you go to bed, you're not hungry. And I wake up, I'm not hungry, and it's super awesome. But what I started doing, uh, Darcy Isabella, another great channel, Go she talked about a, um, a juice for your joints and a concoction. It consists of beets, uh, cucumbers, celery. lettuce, I'm sorry, celery, spinach, and carrots. Yep. So I've been doing that for a week. Oh, yeah, sorry. And just on um, on Monday, my shoulder and neck got so bad, we were looking at specialists in Dallas, thinking about getting carved on. And by Tuesday, um, it totally turned the corner and felt some but, of the best that it ever has. But you started putting... Um, yeah, I started doing hot compresses on it, like really hot compresses. And it started freeing it up. And now it's it, it's going to take me, it'll take me at least another six months or a year to get it back, but at least my neck isn't keep going out and I don't think they have to saw on me or anything. And you've been putting a lime or a lemon in that juice. Yeah, I've been putting a lime or a lemon in the juice mm -hmm. and it tastes disgusting, but I drink it because... Three times a day. Three times a day. And it tastes just as great every time I drink it. But something is working. Let thy food be thy medicine, says Hippocrates. So, let's see here. Sorry about that. Any questions? Okay. How did 40 minutes already go by? That's crazy. Dulu Woohoo is trying to assume my identity. <laughs> That's weird. This Texas dad looks exactly like me. It's kind of weird. <laughs> as long as you don't laugh like me, man. All right. Dulu Woohoo's... Uh Boy, right? Man. I hope so, I guess. You I mean, dude. unless he's the incredible bearded woman. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I would assume that, yeah, Lulu Wu is a man. I hope so. I mean, we, we have, we are, I mean, that's where we are. Uh, I, I don't need any more political. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um, you don't even know. Just Martin says, I take it you're getting cattle. We're getting a family cow, dairy cow. Dulu says it freaks me out. Um, <laughs> now he's trying to say I'm his doppelganger and I'm some kind of clone or something. I don't know. <laughs> I did a nine day fast last year. We'll never do that again ever. Really? Water only. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. How about a that's what's so awesome about intermittent fasting. I mean, you get all the benefits. You don't get all the health benefits of fasting without none of the uh, negative stuff with fasting. Uh, Mark Edwards wants to know, Goober, are you ready for the cow rodeo? I don't think it's going to be a rodeo. If we, if we pick the right cow, uh, it won't be a rodeo, hopefully. I will not let them cut on me. But you know, we were looking at minimally invasive laser surgery, and um, and I did get to the point where you know I was going to do something. I don't know, but praise the Lord. You know, I thank the Lord. I get you know, 
the Lord healed me, you know, he uses his food and all that kind of stuff. You know, he created the food and um, I'm getting better and I praise the Lord for that. Because I've been I've been consistently for three years doing everything and researching and and trying to get this thing better and yeah, it's been a long road here, but it's getting better. So this is what happened. And so we have the goat, and now we have the cow. So we're just going to take them out of the picture. Now we're just going to have a cow. There you go. And hopefully, it'll be way easier to raise goats. But probably, if we never raised goats, we wouldn't have ever got a cow. That's right. Because if I would have ever, never raised, I wouldn't have wanted a cow. Because you don't really know what the heck, if it's easy or not. So Yeah. When you get through goats, then... You're definitely ready for a cow. That is true. So yeah, so we, so you know, it's gonna we're gonna we're gonna take our time looking for a cow. Rosie's still in milk, so we're still getting milk from one of our Encore. goats, and um, we're gonna take our time. We're gonna get the right cow, and uh, so then it won't be a cow rodeo. What's that? So then it won't be a rodeo. <laughs> like Mark said. We want something crazy, 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 gentle. And um, uh, something that will just follow you around. And um, yeah, we want something very, very family friendly cow. Yeah, something that's a good family yeah. cow. Yeah. Yep. That's a good milker. Yep. We're looking on Craigslist. We're looking everywhere. Basically. Yeah, we got the connections. We, we're, we're talking to the right people. So it'll, it'll happen. Um, the tractor that I may be purchasing is getting an alternator or something, so still haven't had a chance to check that out. It's always something. But I'll be looking at that soon. Looking for the backhoe attachment for that to start cleaning the property. Gonna get a backhoe and a brush hog for that one. Oh, did you see Pure Living for Life's video? Three things broke, like boom, boom, boom on there. Those are. Uh, it was yeah. like back tire, so the back tire popped. But they're driving on pure rock, like big old boulders. So their back tire popped, and then their front tire uh, went off the rim. So they did that, and then, um, then oil, uh, hydraulic oil splatted. Uh, he put too much hydraulic oil in the tractor, and it exploded out of there. And um, then uh, one of the tubes one of the that pumps hydraulic oil to the um whatever the backhoe or whatever um that broke too yep yeah that's what equipment does equipment breaks i'm getting a pretty good deal on this tractor so um what does it say what does it say oh uh, uh Dulu said is rufus going to do 50 push-ups in a single day for a civil war bullet that's a challenge or Civil War oh, bullet? That sounds cool. Wait a minute. That means that if you do 50 push-ups in a single day, Dulu's going to send you a Civil War bullet. Am I correct, Dulu? Did I did I read that? I can do 50 push-ups. I can do it in one day. I can do it in one day. I can do it in one day. Yeah, we'll do Are we doing a giveaway this week? Yes, we're gonna do a. Uh, oh yeah, let's okay, get on. Okay, hold on a second. Let we're getting the t-shirt right now. Yep. It slipped it's our mind. It's 5:40. We are. Start oh, okay. About the Civil War bullet was found in Alabama. Man, Dulu has all the cool stuff. He she sent. Meteorite. Yeah, he sent us a meteorite, and now hopefully we can. This get is a Rufus okay, challenge. Okay, Rufus challenge. Oh, we're gonna have, okay, we're gonna so have to do Rufus. footage. And we're gonna have to document Rufus. Can we do it right now? In a day, in a day. Oh, you have a whole day. Okay. So, so you I could do five sets of ten. <laughs> you do ten sets of five. What's this? We'll what type? Video. Whoa! Is this the That's extra large? It. Oh, it's a large, large. We can do a large or extra large. We can do a large or extra large. We have a plethora. Yeah. It's so, okay. It's a large. Effect. So we still we have about 20 minutes, but we will be doing a T-shirt giveaway. Uh, we just have to think of a trivia question. Okay. Yes. So Texas mom is going to come up with a trivia question for y'all. Um, um, on um, the um, fly. Um, 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 
Oh boy. Hold it up. It better not be easy like the other one was. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that easy. All right, so it's just going to play out just like last time. Oh, text mom's going to write it down so then we know what we're talking about. Oh, Cube says he might I... send an extra bullet. Okay, if I win Cube it. does 52. Oh, 52, boy. okay. I can do one. Hunter Reed, thanks for 50. stopping, man. I could do 50. I don't know how many Civil War bullets Dulu has. <laughs> You're going to have to start buying them off. Oh, man. <laughs> he said, oh, man. Oh, man. Everyone <laughs> they could. You could bite the bullet. Split in half. Like the bullet. I have Lead a bullet. Lot. Oh boy, he's got a lot. Oh, good. Okay. We have a new viewer, Hunter Reams. Good uh -huh. having you, Hunter. There's another Hunter on, too. There's another Hunter on. There's uh -oh. two Hunters. Hunter was the first Hunter I ever met, and now there's another Hunter. Hmm. What, 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 Texas Mom? Okay, I think Texas Mom. Oh! Oh, 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 Okay, oh, so oh, don't, oh. don't, oh, okay. don't spill the beans yet. Okay. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah. On the, on the, instead of the, on the swales instead of that. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. one, Texas mom. You'll say that. Hunter Reams lives in Arkansas. Hunter Reams, you may live near our good friend Peoria Dude. Arkansas? Peoria Dude just moved to Arkansas. Or as we like to say, Arkansas. Arkansas? I've never heard anybody I say nearly, that. I nearly heard that, <laughs> Texas Mom. Mark Edwards always heard you, Texas wow. Mom. Um, That's because of our wicked, awesome Yeti Mike. High fidelity. Well, maybe you have a don't chance. Mark. Yeah, Mark. don't cheat. Cheap he's going to be the one that wins. Then he's going to have uh, two he, Texas boy he, t-shirts. Mark knows the answer, I guarantee Yeah, probably. You know. Last time he knew the answer, but he couldn't type it fast enough. That's what his Okay, Peoria was. Dude. I don't know if Peoria Dude's still on or not. Um, Hunter said, what city is that? Yeah, what? Uh, I'm trying to think of where. Peoria Dude is like, I know he's four and a half hours north of us. And... Oh, I can't re I can't remember the name of the town off the top of my head, but um, if you check out Peary Dude's channel, he just did a. Um, it's my fourth. He just did a video. Yeah, yeah we have plenty of time. Period. His name is his last name is Trigg, yeah. Jeff Trigg. And Jeff is not a relation to Frank Trigg. That's always remember Jeff's name is because of Frank Trigg. Okay. But I'll still call him Peoria Dude. But we still call him Peoria Dude. There's Peoria Dude. Oh, he said what? Havana, Arkansas. Paris, Arkansas. Okay, Paris. We have a Paris, Texas. Uh, Two-ish. No, about a, Paris is Yeah, two far? hours. Two and a half hours or... Peoria Dude yeah. said Paris is Oh, cool. That's awesome. Hunter, do you have a homestead or what you doing up there, man? Maybe you and Peoria Dude can, um, collaborate. yeah, collaborate, help each other out on the old homestead. Peoria Dude's just moving to his stead, the Bobble Stead Homestead. We have a Paris, France. That's a very good point, Mark Edwards. There is a Paris in France, yes. too. They stole it from us, obviously. Of but, course. yep, Paris, France. Yep. That's like, you know, you got you have Paris, Texas, <laughs> and you have Paris, Arkansas, <laughs> and you have Paris, France, so... <laughs> No. That's very true. That's a good point. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, let's see here. So, we well, got what about... What part of Texas is Franson? Eggs. What part of Texas is Franson? There is a France, Texas, too. I'm pretty sure. What do you know? We stole it from you. And that is where the country of France got its name from. France, Texas. Yeah. Sorry. Um, before they went all crazy liberal and stuff. Let me see. I do think there's a France. No, uh, Oh, there. I'm sorry. My uh, my cell service is... I stink. It stinks that Mark Edwards cannot have a YouTube channel. How not? He might. He can't because YouTube kicked him off. YouTube. But he can have a Steam It channel. Mark Edwards does need a Steam It. Yeah, because you write us crazy long uh, emails and stuff and you, you would make good... In for 50... <laughs> 
Yes. yes. Yes, I am too. What did she say about me? Stop doing that. You're going to make a ton of noise on oh. me. Let's see. My my cell service went out, so I'm not getting the feed right now. Nine. There you go. Nice, Hunter. I've been looking for chickens next week. Uh, okay. Um. All right, boys. Okay, I'm gonna re. I'm gonna reload. Rufus, video. are you ready for forty percent strategy? Goober, buddy, I will prepare them for a challenge if they, if that is the case. Are you willing to go? Oh, they're in. Mode. They're in, Dulu. Beast mode. Yeah. Yeah. So Rufus is gonna have to do fifty push-ups, and then Dulu who wants us to do something else. Okay. Um. All right, okay, boys. I'm sorry, I guys. I'm getting caught up. I can call. Oh, them. okay, cool. I'm 13, I but I have eggs. I will do that in. when I Sweet. get time, Goober. Hunter's 13, Goob. Who? He's like a year older than you. Who? Hunter. Hunter Reams in oh. Kansas. That's funny. And he has an egg sales business, and he breeds Rhode Island Reds with silver laced wine dots. Huh? Good for you, man. That's yeah. awesome. Those are two of my favorite breeds, wine dots and. Uh, Yep, reds and wine dots. Yep, that's yep. what we do. Yep, yep. We have a couple other stranglers, but yeah, that's what we do. I love the railroad on reds and the wine dots. Oh. I will do that when I get time. All right, Dulu. So yeah, the boys are no, in, man. They're gonna, they're gonna document. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Mark Edwards is gonna start a steam it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll follow awesome. you. Tell us as soon as you get one. We'll be. Mark, your... you're gonna make loads of crypto, bro. Loads. Uh, oh, I have that one. Relax, relax. Show All up. right. Don't. No, 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 no. Tell them what that one is. This Renate one. Butler. Hello this from Germany. Is from um, this is a Rhode Island Red mixed with a wine dot. This is what they look like. And this one is um, this could be either way. It could be a um, meat bird. It could be a meat bird mix with a Rhode Island red, or it could be um, what's that other one, Lincoln? I uh, mean, Ostr uh, Ostr uh, black ostrich, right? Yeah, Ostr yeah, black ostrich. So, yep, we had these guys hatch. They were a bit small for dinner, though, Mark. Good said. evening. <laughs> bit smaller. Our brooder's doing awesome. I'm going to have to do a video about Not it. on the table, not on the table. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to puke. Here you go. They're clean. It's not like they're... I know they're clean, but they're still chicken. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to have to do a video on our new... Can somebody help him transport these. Um, they are a bit small for dinner. <laughs> uh, do you have... Oh, no, we don't have heritage breed. Wow, he's got heritage reds, huh? That's pretty Check cool. That out. No, I don't have them. My feed dropped again. Okay, I'll pull this back up. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing... Um, we've been free-ranging our chicks. Um, it's been going good, so we'll, we'll get that in on a video. From our last hatch, we have Lone Survivor left. Uh, going strong. Lone survivor. Video on the chicks. All right, we will, Dulu. And the other four. And the other four. Oh. All right, go. Oops. All right, it's almost Okay, time. so we are going to get ready for the Texas Boys trivia question yeah, here. Yeah, get ready. Get ready. And now, okay, so let's see. Just make sure. Just get okay. all ready. Ready? Have your fingers so. on. Here's what it's going to be. We're going to do a trivia question. The first person to answer Goose, I have is going to win a large a Texas Boys t-shirt. We have large and extra large. Okay. So, okay. And we'll order some more t-shirts probably soon. Right? Hunter says you should get a goose. I have a male and a female African goose. We have Muscovy ducks. We have yep. several. Um, Make it... Big. And we have we have two Pyrenees. Twenty four so. seven. <laughs> nah, sorry. Too Pyrenees. early, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was last week's answer, and I knew Mark knew it. He just couldn't type it fast nope. enough. Be ready. Oh, I am terrible. What? I never, I never mailed out the. I've had a crazy week. I never mailed out the T-shirt from last week. So Oops. That's Texas Dad. Um, 
I'm terrible. We'll get them out. We'll get them out. We will get them out. It was I had Carolina it. Girls. It's in the, yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm terrible. That's so terrible. <laughs> but well, I guess when get used to it. I'm yeah. terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the cow. Yeah, we were we got is. caught up in the cow frenzy and yep. we were late one night. Um, yeah. Yep. So. All right. Okay. You ready? So, All right. Here is the. Buddy goof on. Okay, so here is the tri- Texas Boys trivia question. All right, take your time. It's all good. Get it all typed out and ready. To all right. hit set. Okay, what is Texas Dad's favorite ground cover for the swales? Go! 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 <laughs> Nobody. What? Hey, hey, no. no. <laughs> sorry. Uh, cow cow poop, poop? No. No. Sorry. <laughs> Buckwheat? No. No. <laughs> Go on. Peck or straw? straw? No. no. Question, Question marks? marks? No. He no, does he not put them on. Oh, um, Mark Aaron said, "Oh, come if on." You'll get more of it. Wood on chips? The, no. Um, no. On our. Instagram. Pumpkins, no. No. Strawberries, Strawberries no. no. He has them, but pumpkins are close. Pumpkins are pretty close. Pumpkins are kind of close. We tree. Earthworm pop. Earthworm <laughs> <laughs> Give us a clue. Give no. us a clue. Right. It's a plant as a ground cover. It's a. It's something that you could eat for dinner. Yes, you can eat the leaves no. and the root. Squash, watermelon, not watermelon. No, and the flower. Squash. And it's nope. not raisinets. Raisinets. No. <laughs> Man. Man. Onions. onions. Come on, guys. Come on. You don't remember me talking about this in the video? Maybe we'll have to give away. We are nudes. Pooping for a second chance. Popping for a second chance. Oh, popping up. Do you want to give all the clothes? No, 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 no. Give it away. No. But I'm not squash pumpkins. No. Buffering lettuce. lettuce. No. no. You're so close. You are very close, Jason Aronson. It starts with an S. <laughs> it trying. starts with an S. Okay, it does start with an S. There you go. That's all it's going to be. Yep. Man, starts with an watermelon. S. Watermelon does not start with an S. No, it starts with the they're, W. They're on a, Cabbage, they're, no. They're on a... Uh, spinach, not no. Not spinach. No. It's... <laughs> It's very, 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 very. What sweet? Sweet? Not sweet. No. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> you could have got that right, but we don't know what the it heck sweet is. It does start with an S W. No, don't give it or any O. Ooh. S W. Wait a second. I don't know. S W. Swiss char, not no. Swiss char. You're very close, but don't. No more clues. Yeah. They can find. Yeah, them. might have to go to next week, oh. and. It yeah. might have to go Swiss next star. week. I'm not gonna. Oh, we gotta give it's a, a great. No, no, no. We gotta give a t-shirt. All right. No. Sweet Swiss cheese. Swiss sweet corn. corn. Sweet no. corn. No, sweet. sorry. Oh, it does start with sweet. Yes, sweet. It does start with sweet. Sweet. Sweet, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Yes. Uh oh. Bam. Oh, I gotta ship a t-shirt to Germany. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> 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 it was sweet potatoes. <laughs> sweet, potatoes. <laughs> sweet potatoes. How we, much is that going to be? Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Bam. I don't know how much is it? So. Germany, you cost like 100 bucks. <laughs> I know. Well, I know. Hold on a second. It's not uh, that bad. Shipping. You would like to give a t-shirt to them. Actually, <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think Renate Butler's husband's originally from Texas. I ship packages I to the USA all the time. Yeah, it's probably going to be about 15 bucks. Yeah, 13 yeah, yeah, that's not going to be bad. So we sent it to France. Renate, if you want to um, email us. Send us an email. Yep. Our email will be in the show notes. And, um, oh, her sons live in South Carolina. Okay. Um. So yeah, if, if you can send us an email with your address, I will get that out. And Jason Anderson, <laughs> I will get your shirt out. Yes. I'm terrible. Yes. And I embrace it, I guess. 
Wow, that's terrible. I can't believe. That's Man, why Jason that was, said we live in South Carolina. That, He's like, yeah, that's where you were supposed like to. Like the other one, we didn't even have to get one clue. No. It yeah, was just, I know. And this Whoa, one, we can't believe I won. Ella, that's the, fr that's the first. <laughs> I never won anything before. Yeah. Not my t-shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Oh. Junior. Well, Hey, Junior, you gonna say hi, Junior? Say hello, Junior. Yucky! Yucky! Oh no! Oh. It's yucky! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> what you doing, Slim Sweet Potatoes? <laughs> what did They're say? spreading like crazy. You're doing plant sweet potatoes in your swales. I plant them on my swales as ground cover. Yep. And okay. they're like, and, in the and they're killer. Yeah. Ground cover. And they're actually producing flowers too. I was gonna give you that hint too. They produce flowers. Buddy planted a bunch today, didn't you? Yeah. Buddy planted a lot. About twenty slips or whatever today. All right. I'm Four ready. more minutes. I'm ready. Jason I'm ready. said, "Hey, Junior." Hey, Junior. He said yucky. And he Fury dude said spreading the Texas boys message to Europe. Yeah. Yeah, we're in France. Now we're going to penetrate Germany. Yeah. We're taking Europe by force. Sounds like a risk game. We'll have like two t-shirts in all of Europe. We just got to figure out what part of Texas Germany's in. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Germany, Texas. <laughs> Germany's got to be in Texas somewhere. Somewhere. All right. Well, any parting notes or thoughts or? Period, yeah, dude. I went to get, to get a dog. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty. So cool. Hunter and Period, dude, are in close proximity. Huh. Congrats. I. Oh, I. Texas dad used to play lots of Risk. We have Ukraine. The risk. Ukraine is not weak. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So we'll get that video out of the push-ups. Yep, the push-ups. Your push-up towel you got. And we'll look forward <laughs> to some cow videos. Yeah, and look forward for some cow videos. Big yeah, we're going to put out some cow videos. Apparently, I got to do another swale video. Show my ground cover. Apparently, it is doing rather well. Tractor video. I'm thinking about a Tractor YouTube video coming YouTube. out. Your cow video. Um, um, Hunter, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah if you can start. Hunter, absolutely do a YouTube channel, man. You can do basically that whatever. That would be great, man. Push-ups taste great. <laughs> Push-ups. <laughs> that is great. Yeah, I live on the... Mount Magazine. Mount Check Mount that out. That is super cool. Magazine. Yeah, I think this is Hunter. Hunter's first time on our live. So yeah. that'd be great, man. Do a... Do a uh, I'm still trying to get the great and mighty Hunter... To do a YouTube channel, yeah. so we could have two hundred YouTube channels. Yeah, but Hunter has to put some swales on his property. Yes, he does. Yes, he has like. A, it would be perfect. Gooby. You should. Spoon. You should. Goob should do a sponsored push-up challenge. A dollar for everyone over a hundred. Ah, what Mark, does that mean? I like your style. So people should sponsor you, and for every push-up they. You know, they, they donate so much money to the channel. It's a name. Oh, that's pretty good. It's Magazine name. Mountain Homestead. I like it. Yeah. Boom. It's got a good ring to it. Bam. Magazine Mountain Bing Homestead. bang pow. Yes, you should definitely have some type of moderator, and your parents definitely should facilitate your channel. That oh, uh, Sander. Sander Hansen from the UK. Hello. And More UK peoples. <laughs> We just get, we just, uh, um, maybe next live stream we're going to be giving off another t-shirt, but this one's going to Germany. You know what they say, if you can't sell them, give them away. You know? yep. <laughs> Don't know. The... A moderator is somebody you can assign to help, uh, help you with your live stream to delete messages from trolls and different yep. things like that. And just help... You know certain slang terms and keep keep the thread clean for yep. for the wee one. That's what We Tree Bonsai does and Rain Water Country and. and ranch, exactly. Yep. It's six o'clock. Six o'clock. 
All right, y'all. Well, it was great hanging out with you. And it is six o'clock, and we are going to eat our yep. dinner. It's smelling super fabulous. And we are still waiting for YouTube to come out with smell o vision Hasn't no, happened uh, yet. No, I don't want that. Have a great week, Texas boys. Until next time. Good night. Thanks, oh, yeah. Mark. Yeah, good night, Steve. Mark Edwards. Uh, later, sweet uh, taters. <laughs> Enjoy my time. <laughs> See you, Dulu. All right, Jason Anderson. See you, Wee Tree. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll be talking to y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye. See you, Carolina girls. See ya. Your t-shirt's going to be there soon. We're going to, yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.